Hello my creepy lovelies and welcome back to another cliffhanger tech story. This one is called Sisters and the picture is really creepy so let's begin shall we? Unknown says, hello sister. Would you like to know a secret? Monica says, who is this? Someone our parents would like to forget. Nice try. I don't have a sibling. How did you get my number? Would you like to play a game? No. <laughs> what game? No way blocking you now. <laughs> You were such a sweet child. Beautiful and innocent. Always the more perfect sister. I told you I don't have a sister. That's what our parents would like you to think. You need to know the truth before they come home. This is you, isn't it, Matt? Ha ha, really funny. Now stop. Thank you, finally some more pictures. If they'll ever, thank you. <laughs> I'll say if it will ever load. Okay. It's two little girls. Nothing creepy in the background as far as I can tell, so. Oh no, I was trying to exit out of it. That, that's impossible. Why? My mom said every picture of me at that age burned in the fire. Makes you wonder what else she's hiding. Maybe this little secret will jog your memory. Mm. Oh, that scared me. Okay, what kind of secret was that? Oh, well, Monica recognizes it. I can't believe it. How could you know that? Can you hear me singing? Yes. Crazo, <laughs> you're in my house. It's my house too, little sister. Follow the music to find me. That song. It sounds so familiar. It should. Are you starting to remember yet? Why are you doing this? To show you the truth about our parents. You want to know the truth, don't you? Calling my parents, yes, I need to know. Eh, I'm calling them. I wouldn't do that. Why not? They won't be happy if they find out you're talking to me. They might do something terrible, like they did to me. What do you mean? Follow my singing and I'll show you. Okay, but you should know I have a knife. You shouldn't play with sharp objects, dear sister. I'm downstairs, but I don't see you. But can you hear me? Yes, below me. In the basement? Now I know you're messing with me. We don't have a basement. The bookcase in the corner. Push it aside. What do you see? A door on the floor. Open it and walk down the stairs. I promise I won't bite. This is insane. How could I never know of this? Sometimes the best secrets are hidden in plain sight. Like me. Are you down there? Come see. Tell me your name first. Jasmine. Okay, and why should I trust you, Jasmine? Because I need your help. You're the only one who can save me, Monica. Please, Monica, we're family. Okay, I'm walking down the stairs. It's pitch black down here. Jesus, that smell. Oh God, it smells like something died down here. A lot of things died down here. What do you mean? Jasmine, where are you? You stopped singing. But I can hear you moving around. No. Those are just the rats. What? Don't worry. They're old friends. That's it. I'm going back upstairs. No. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Then show yourself. No more games. Reach for the light above your head. The heck is this? a doll. A doll with a peg leg or a wooden leg. My only friend for a long time. What do you mean? You lived down here? That's not possible. I would have known if someone was living under my house. You didn't know about the door either. 
There are chains and shackles on the wall. Dad said bad little girls need to be punished. Dad sounds like a freak. Jasmine? Jasmine, are you there? I don't know. I don't think I want to answer. Now it's your turn, Monica. Now you know what it feels like to be locked in the dark. I thought I was the blonde one. Turn the lights back on. Now it's your turn to be locked away in the dark. Jasmine, no. Let me out of here. I can't wait to show you what I have planned next. Play chapter two to find out what happens next. Welcome to my world, little sister. Why are you doing this? What do you think? To punish me? But I never did anything to you, didn't you? I didn't even know you existed because of you, everything because of you. You sound like you're in a lot of pain, Jasmine. Maybe you just need someone to talk to. Maybe. Tell me what they did to you. Did they chain you down here? Yes. Oh, mom and dad would never do that. Why? I'm gonna say why. Because they hate me. You're the only one they love. After you were born, they ignored me completely. One day when I was eight, I threw a fit about it. I played with some matches and made a mistake. You're saying they chained you up in the basement for making a mistake? That's insane. They are kind of harsh sometimes, but at night I could hear mom singing you to sleep upstairs. That's what that song is. Mom's lullaby. She used to sing it to me before you came along. If this is all true, I can help you. We can make this right. You mean we can be sisters again? Maybe if you promise not to hurt anyone. Yes, I would like that. Uh, if I just say yes, I would like that. I don't know. Oh, I feel like I'm a little upset her. Jasmine? I don't believe you. Jasmine, let me out. New message to mom. Mom, help. Are you there? I'm locked in the basement. What? We don't have a basement. I know about the basement, Mom. And Jasmine. She locked me down here. Yeah. Are you okay? Did she hurt you? Oh, I thought we didn't have a basement. <laughs> no. She lured me down here and locked the door. She said it's my turn to be locked up. Hang on, honey. Your father and I are driving home. Is she still in the house? I don't know. I don't hear her. We'll be there soon. Mom, is it true what she told me? You chained her up down here when she was eight? Just because she threw a tantrum? No, of course not. We did it when she was nine. No, <laughs> that's crazy. Then why are there chains on the wall? Why didn't you tell me we have a basement? Or that I have a sister? Whatever she told you isn't true, honey. We love Jasmine. She was such a sweet little girl. But after you were born, something changed. She started acting jealous. Then one day when you were three years old, she tried to kill you. Yeah, I think that's a good reason. <laughs> she tried to burn the house down, but we were afraid to have her committed. We thought maybe we could keep her in the basement until she calmed down. What? How long did you keep her here? Until they forgot about her. <laughs> about a month. What? How could you do that? It was wrong, honey, I know. We were just so scared of losing our daughter. Finally, we called the mental hospital. She's been there ever since. Well, she got out somehow, obviously. I'm so sorry, Monica. We both felt horrible afterwards. I guess that's why we closed off the basement and never told you about Jasmine. We wanted to forget it ever happened. I hope, we hope you and Jasmine can forgive us. I forgive you, I don't know. I'll say I forgive you. You meant well. You just made a mistake. I'm glad you understand. We love you and your sister. I still feel terrible every day about what we did. I know you love us, Mom. Please just get here soon. We will, don't worry. One new message from Unknown. Hello, sister. Time for our game to end. 
through Heat Chapter 3 for the shocking conclusion. Eh, it probably won't be that shocking. Enjoying the basement. You can play with my doll if you want. No, thank you. I named her Abby. I used to talk to her for hours. There wasn't much else to do. Let me out now. Look, we can work this out. It was wrong of mom and dad to lock you down here for a month, but I had nothing to do with it. Look, I'm sorry they treated you differently when I came, but I know they still loved you. Please just unlock the door. Don't worry, you won't be there much longer. I'll be back in a minute. Then this will all be over. What do you mean? Where are you? In the garage, getting some things. What things? You'll see. I don't want to see. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hello? One new message to mom. Mom, are you almost here? I think Jasmine is planning something. Just a few more minutes. We called the police, too. She said she's getting something from the garage. I'm really scared. Please hurry. Oh, God, I hear her. What is she doing? She's walking around upstairs, pouring something on the floor. She's going to burn the house down. Wait, I smell... Oh, no. It's gas! She's pouring gas everywhere! She's going to burn the house down. Seems that that mental institution didn't do jack. <laughs> Just hang on, we're almost there. I have to get out of here. I'm beating on the door. Try talking to her. She's just laughing at me. Mom, I'm so scared. I hear her trying to light a match. Say something. Distract her somehow. I'll tell her the police are coming. I'll tell her you're sorry. <sighs> this is where I could end up getting her killed, huh? I'll tell her you're sorry. I just piss her off though. <laughs> yes, tell her that. Tell her we're, we're to blame, not you. She says it's too late to apologize. She hates you for not loving her after I was born. That's not true. Wait, I have an idea. What? That lullaby. I'm singing it. What lullaby? You sang it to me. She remembers. She was mad you stopped singing to her. It must have meant a lot. Okay, but it's working. She stopped trying to light the match. She's crying. Thank God. We're coming down the street now. She's really bawling. Keep singing. Wait. I think she's leaving. The back door just slammed. We're in the driveway. Monica Davis's parents confessed to abusing her sisters, Jasmine. Monica, 16, was relocated to a foster home, but remains in contact with her biological parents. Why does she, wait, why does she need to be removed? They didn't abuse her. Jasmine's current whereabouts are unknown. Or, wait, so, I mean, like, are her parents in jail or something? That's kind of messed up. Well, I mean, not that it was okay for them to lock a child up or whatever, but she was a little psycho, so I don't know. But okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time for another cliffhanger text story.